Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Life is Strange Episode 3 Chaos Theory. I think that's what I'm going to do. I couldn't quite decide, so I'm going to maybe read this and figure out what she, what her, what, she, what Chloe's thoughts are, which maybe when her conversation with, with Joyce. Um, I don't know if it's going to go that way, but we'll see. So, even though my body smelled like I had been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. Excuse me. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's houses, and we even snuck out but got chicken and ran back home, laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day, and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs, and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least at Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it. After our academic espionage last night, I felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine are trashed. A band tee and ripped jeans, so not me. But I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her. So I did. She probably thought I'd wuss out. Why? It wasn't that big of a deal. Though, it was cute the way she kind of embarrassed, she was kind of embarrassed after, and she said she would tell Warren. Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel, Amber, in her future. When I went down to breakfast, Joyce actually called me Rachel, which just seemed so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my outfit really is working its magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's odd now, how quickly you can fall back into an old routine. So I must have set Joyce off Joyce's nostalgia mo mo So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode since she busted out her ye old photo album. I'm one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was that what was that Alfred Hitchcock Alfred Hitchcock cock oh my god I can't speak lying about films being pieces of time? Like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband in a better light. When David was happy or laughing with Joyce in the picture, I wanted, I wanted to say, and who is that? Plus, I'm sure it's no accident that there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She truly is stunning, and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo William Price ever took. Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joyce really misses that old, joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as, we had as children and lost as adults. Whatever being an adult means. An adult which was a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me a cruel, co cruel cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. Yeah, this just makes me, just to keep things happy for Joyce, even though the tension and the atmosphere is not gonna be so good. Uh, okay. I'm gonna keep it such. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David and our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Even if Chloe's gonna be mad at me. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. I'm not gonna comment on that. Just, I don't, I don't know. It's. Imagine he needs just some semblance of control in his life. And Chloe. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole?
Okay, so there's literally nothing to do here. What am I waiting for? Unless I'm just, unless I'm supposed to just leave. I'm assuming I'm just supposed to just leave. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the decision I made. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I'm gonna assume that's Frank there. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. <laughs> Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Careful, that? Max. Cujo ahead. Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. There's a police More officer. Police car. Cruiser. More dead birds! Voila. What is going on here? What is with this the ground? Okay, message from dad. Okay, it's uh Maxine Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof with that, walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to high school around here, <laughs> the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Max. XOXO. Kisses and hugs. Okay, no talking. It would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. That's oh, that same guy. Worst interview ever. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh, oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over wait that that 
truck is. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Uh... Yeah, let's go with that. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Yeah. It's the same thing, oh, or? Oh God, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. Oh, what? Oh, she's okay. Super heroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. That's what she's talking about. So this is why she did the read. Okay. How do I? Oh, I can just take it from here. I made the trucker happy, and I get to photograph this bitch in 1977 Needham. That's a big tin for Max. Yeah! Got it! Okay, anything here? More dead birds is what's here. I'm sorry, what so am I- So ominous. Well, that's the feather in the... <laughs> Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <coughs> What's that? So these are probably all the pictures I missed last time. So I wasn't paying attention. I was hoping for a new, more information on Nathan Prescott. Mostly it's same kind of a derision towards the guy. Dead birds everywhere. What's that sound? Okay, 
know where Frank is. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. By the way, okay, wait, da da da. E13, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in's actually popular, so I'm buying ticks now. I'll let you take care of the poker. In other words, you can't back out now. Okay, it's officially sold out. But I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Freaking nerds. <laughs> There's one last picture I'm trying to get. Correct? Yeah, because this one's already missed way back. I swear that would be like Joyce's. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Sorry, I just want to have a look around. Already <laughs> saw Forgot this, right? about the fishing wall of fame. Yeah, saw this already. Oh shit, it's Nathan. What? Uh. <laughs> Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Okay, I thought he was just expended, not... not sus expended? Suspended, not expelled. Nathan has time to get drugs okay. from Frank because he was expelled. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Okay, but I'm actually gonna sit here just because I feel like the next upcoming part is fairly important. So, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys, see ya!